Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Kitaishi Virakon. I have been diagnosed as having multiple sclerosis. I am married and have two children, age 18 and 16. I call them my life walking sticks because of the unstinted support they give me. My husband Ravi, of course, continues to be a tower of strength to me and, and has made sure that I am provided with all I need. I am indeed grateful to him and the children because they understand my difficulties and are ever ready to make allowances. As for my illness, I now recall notice symptoms of my illness when I was 24 years old. Occasionally, I experienced numbness in my feet. I also experienced periods of numbness in my face. Each of these lasted for about two weeks and settled. I just assumed they were psychosomatic and never considered it was due to a neurological illness condition. While reading for my master's in committee medicine, I had difficulty coordinating fine movements of the hand. I, in 1996, following a minor car accident, I decided to seek medical attention at the age of 34. When diagnosed with this illness, I initially it was a sense of depression. I tried my best to ignore my illness and carry on with my life. Intense fatigue was troublesome and got me down. It was quite frustrating when I couldn't drape my sari, but my blouse or even comb my hair. I did not share these thoughts with others as I felt they may not have understood what I was going through. I felt lost and alone. The category of MS I had was a secondary progressive type and soon I had to terminate my work at the University of Peradeni. I began to realize and understand that this was not going to be the end of my life but a new way of life. I had to make changes to make things easier for myself. My husband arranged for railing to be fixed on the wall to enable me to go about safely as I had a problem with balance. I had to plan my daily activities at times when I was not fatigued and I learned to do most things while seated mainly in order to save energy. The frequently used articles were kept within easy reach in my home. I also had to plan my daily activities around many regular periods of rest. To overcome fatigue, I had to save my energy. To do the most essential tasks and I would, and I would only do them when my fatigue was at a minimum. When I realized that having MS does not mean that life should be should fall apart, I was determined to share my experiences and encourage other patients with MS. That intention of helping other patients with MS to improve their quality of life was the main reason for forming the Multiple Sclerosis Association of Lanka. I felt the need to raise awareness of the disease itself and the problems faced by the patients providing physical, emotional and financial support to patients and their families and caregivers were some of our key objectives. Early diagnosis is important to implement a therapeutic strategy. 
However, there are patients in rural areas of Sri Lanka who have limited access to necessary information and the symptoms. More diagnostic procedures involving MRI and or lumbar puncture are offered in a few centers and this may lead to a delay in diagnosis. There is social stigma associated with this disease. Many do not acknowledge the condition. Others keep the illness a secret. Some keep the patient with MS healing and some attribute the illness due to sin committed in their past life. We strongly feel these attitudes have to change. In my capacity as president, I have interacted with several patients across the country and we now have 84 patients diagnosed with MS in our association as members of our association. We hope that neurologists and other medical professionals who encounter patients with MS will make them aware of the existence of the MS association, enabling them to interact with other patients with MS and a support and facility provided by the MS association. We need families not to give up on their loved ones with MS thinking there is no hope. Adapting to a life with MS may take time, but with a positive attitude and appropriate health care, one's quality of life can improve. We want people with our MS to get the most out of life and to hold their heads up with dignity. So I would appeal to all of you to support our cause. Thank you.